Today in court on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. She went to sell the car. Not true. She went and got a title Not to true. go get a title. I'm just going to take notice that you say every other sentence is a lie. Today on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. For 10 years, she was America's toughest and most successful prosecutor. Now, she has her own court, and she's the judge. The cases are real. The decisions are binding. And justice will be swift. Sir, I don't care who says what. I'm going to find the truth. Court starts now on Swift Justice with Nancy Grace. Beverly Raybon says after she bought a 97 Dodge Caravan for 900 bucks, the seller, Taran Anderson, refuses to sign over the title. Beverly's suing for either the transfer of the title or for $1,500. For the defense, 32-year-old Taran Anderson says she never agreed to sell her van, that she loaned it to Beverly, and Beverly stole it. To all of you ladies, do you agree to be bound by my ruling today, ma'am? Yes. 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 Ma'am? Yes. Okay, does that look familiar to you? No. I told the other judge you did not. Not ringing a bell? No. Okay, let's bring out Thomas Grogan, please. Document examiner, handwriting expert. Mr. Grogan, I can't thank you enough, as usual. Mm, thank you. Now, Mr. Grogan, when you listen to Duran Anderson, she's extremely believable. But then, when you listen to her father, this is her blood father, he is extremely believable. That's one of the reasons why I don't get involved with the backstory of the case. Smart. Uh, Very wise. Just give me the question documents, the known samples, let me do my job. Coming up, was the signature on a bill of sale forged? Cancer and the chemotherapy that they give you can and does affect the handwriting. Travel consideration provided by... Raybon versus Anderson. Was the signature on a bill of sale forged? Nancy has our handwriting expert examine it right now. What say you? Now we have the uh, question signature at the top and then three comparison or known samples. So of, the bottom three are the known. Right. And I know from personal experience, because I'm a cancer survivor myself, cancer and the chemo that you, uh, the chemotherapy that they give you can and does affect the handwriting. I mean, I could show you handwriting samples of, of mine before and after cancer, and they're, they're very different. I did not know that. Yes. It doesn't make things any easier. I understand. So, but a few things I wanted to point out here is the base of the T's have this little um, A-shaped at the base of the T-stem. It's not closed all the way at the base. Uh, see, what, what, right. what are you talking about, up in the middle? Right here. Ah, uh, I do see it. Okay, I'm an amateur. But I can already see this A loop is the same as that A loop. Correct. Now, one thing I don't see, though, is she's got a loop on her D, and there's not a loop up there. Right. But that A is so overwhelming, and that T is so overwhelming, and also the S not closed up, and the same loop over. You have a good eye, Nancy. Not really. And then you got this little flag coming off. What do you call that? Well, we call it a, a terminal stroke. It's basically where, where the tro terminal stroke is basically where the stroke ends. We have the initial stroke where the, the, the stroke begins of the letter and then where it ends, where it causes a terminus. Set me when you, but the way it comes out so mm -hmm. dramatically, there's got to be some kind of a, a name for that. Um, you know, because not everybody has that. It's not really a flourish. It's a z Right. And also, the slant is very similar. Mm -hmm. Usually, if someone's going to disguise their handwriting, that's usually the one thing they get wrong is the slant, because it's, it's so minute. You, usually, if I'm detecting a forgery, it's either from the slant or most, most likely with uh, the lowercase letters, because what they'll do is they'll try to mimic at least the first letter of each name. And they figure, well, if I could make that look the same, it's good enough for government work, they'll let it pass. But when I start examining the lower letters, that's when people get sloppy. Mm -hmm. What's your final rendered opinion? Well, taking into consideration uh, the chemotherapy and so forth may have had a, a, an effect on the handwriting, it does. 
Uh, it is my expert opinion that the question document was indeed signed by Taran Anderson. Mr. Grogan, you really are something. Thank you. Something wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Nancy's decision is binding, and it's next.